Thanks for watching Film Buff, really, honestly. It's <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Sorry, man. You know, my plan was not at all to have this long of a break in the middle, but you know, something came up. I had to cancel something big on my channel that took some time uh, because of the, you know, the questions and everything that comes along. Um, but you know, that's finished, that, that's out of the way. Now I'm focusing on me uh, and only me. This is my channel and I'm not gonna focus on anyone else. And I'm gonna do stuff I enjoy and that includes this badass show, man. Um, so it's time for season four, man. Yeah, man, season three finale. <sighs> Once again, you know, this show does not let you down in terms of finales. You know, Ragnar's uh, Trojan horse, you know, they got in, they, they took what they wanted, and Ragnar was still in pretty bad uh, shape. He barely walked out and, you know, fell into Baron's hands. So they left Paris back to Kattegat, um, but Rolo stayed behind. Um, now, you know, Rolo stayed behind because he knows what the seer has told him, so he knows if he stays behind... Uh, then this thing can go further, this uh, this prophecy. Um, but yeah, man, Rolo was told uh, the part of the agreement is that he has to defend them from his brother Ragnar. And from the looks of it, he accepted. And, you know, he shows up at court and Princess Gisla and he had something prepared in French. And it ends off by Ragnar telling Floki that he knows uh, that he killed Athelstan. So, you know, a bit of a cliffhanger. Um, I'm excited to get into the new season. Um, let's just get right into it, man. Episode 1. Yes! I still ask you. Yes, I have seen it. A woman will one day rule in Kattegat. Will it be me? Don't go there yet, man. No, 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 no. No. Bjorn's like, the hell's wrong with her, man? Why is she so happy? She left behind your daughter. Siggy! Nothing can stop us! Now, Ragnar is dangerously ill. It is true he may die. But who is our king? And to who do we owe our allegiance? Yes, Bjorn. Do we owe our gratitude? Ragnar! <laughs> Ragnar always claimed we went to Paris because of Athelstan. Therefore, I order the arrest of Floki for the murder of Athelstan. Ooh. Ooh. I have nothing to answer for. Don't you remember, Bjorn? How he talked about that Christian priest? And how you also feared his influence on your father? But remember, we plan to raid Paris again after we've replenished our forces. I can't wait. You're not inside. Fuck off. You spoke well today. I'm proud of you. Someone had to. Lagatha and I will share the Elden and rule together as equals. Okay. If Kalf actually uh, means it. That. You little shit. Oh. No, what? 
It's tough to see, man. It's really tough to see this. He fucked up, but... To shame me like this, Bjorn. For defending the gods. <laughs> easy, Floki, easy. Helga. Please help me escape. Oh. Help me, Helga, help me. Help you can't do that, man. Everyone's so happy to see you right now. Perhaps some more than others, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my boys, huh? <laughs> what have I missed? Bjorn has arrested Floki. Yes. Loki needed to be dealt with. You were incapacitated. I thought it was the right thing to do. Oh, Did shit. you also think that if I wanted him arrested, I would have done it a long time ago? But now, you have made it public and left me with no options. Now I am forced deal with my errant friend. She looks like Princess Peach. <laughs> Charles. Damn. Or <laughs> perceivates. This is right. was like, well, you had a chance. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, it's just... It's a bit comical, her reactions. Whoa! He'll like that she has this fire about her. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. Everyone who does this is gonna get banished or put down. Dead men. All of you. Dead men. Yeah, Earl Kalf. You have your answer. And here, Einar, is mine. You're all dead men. Oh. Okay, Kalf. He's got my respect. Or he's beginning to get my respect for that move. That's a badass move. Oh, she's gonna cut his balls. Should have done this a long time ago, Einar. God damn, Lagatha. Okay, Kelf. Okay, I see you, Kelf. Where will you go? I already know a place. A hunter's lodge in the interior. Then you better leave soon. Before the winter freeze. But I think you're making another foolish decision. Why are you really going? Because you don't think I can survive. You killed Athelstan out of jealousy. That is the truth. Just admit it. No. The truth is, I did as the gods commanded, and I would do it again if they willed it. I think he. I think he does believe that. Kiron, Kiron. <laughs> 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 
The fuck did you just say? <laughs> we may never see him alive again, you know that, don't you? Have you seen something? No, I just meant that you... Then why would you say something like that? Hmm. Floki, the boat builder. Floki, the tower maker. <laughs> Open the that gate. beard, though, man. Look at that. Wow. He's. I think he might have brought some forces. Man, roll us all in this time, man. Damn. Dude, rollo has gone full on dark side. He's gone all in now, man. Damn. That was a good season opener, man. Oh, Rolo. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah, man. Basically, Rolo is all in this time. Like, this is a point of no return, I think. Um, because now he's done the unthinkable. He's turned on his own people. And he's butchered them, man. He's butchered them all. He wanted to make sure that no one stays alive to go back. He's, he's made a choice, man. This is a big move. You know, he made sure to take out everyone that could be a problem for him. And, you know, he's firmly sided with the French on this. You know, somehow he's communicated and told them that, okay, I need you to come. So I'm sure they were, like, more than happy to do it. But, you know, Rolo made a big move, man. He knows if he stays here, he's, you know, he's married the princess. And, you know, um, in doing this, he's also impressed Charles. He's also impressed the princess. I'm sure she's going to be impressed and the the common people you know the common folk so he's gonna gain a lot of trust in paris but on the flip side he's he's lost all support from you know his his roots you know the vikings he's not gonna get any more support from them so before i go to the top of the episode a few things man i noticed um on the technical side i could tell just from this episode the budget has definitely gone up i noticed that the look is a little bit different you know even more cinematic now that comes down to the color grade in post and in terms of new characters, uh, there's another Canadian. Now, I don't know her name, but I do know she's Canadian. Uh, it was the Asian actress um, that uh, Aslog uh, buys. You know, after that uh, stunning uh, establishing shot, you know, sweeps in and it's uh, Ragnar on horseback. Um, it, was, it became clear the moment they show the gates that this is not something that's happening. Um, that it might be a dream. So it's the gates, you know, the gates are open to Valhalla and he's happy. He's running towards it. Um, and and the gates start to close so you know basically he was denied entry or he couldn't get there in time one or the other right and um, I say he was denied entry because they also do little flashbacks you know they start showing all the things that Athelstan died that one old guy he choked they showed the shot of the cross so you know the you know uh, potential things that might have denied him entry um, now you know uh, uh, clearly this is some type of foreshadowing um, now, if they're foreshadowing that he's looking at the gates, you know, that usually means you're dying or you're dead and you're going to go to the gates. Um, I hope it's not anytime soon. But last I saw him, he was still in rough shape. And as that scene's going on, Aslog is asking the seer about um, if there's ever going to be a female that's going to rule Katagat. Um, and once again, our boy, uh, Seer, makes his prediction for the season. It should come with spoiler alert because he's always right. He's always right. So he said, yes, I've seen it. A woman is going to uh, rule Katagat. And she's like, is it me? Do you know if it's me? And he kind of laughs in her face, to be honest. So, you know, I take that as two things. Either he's agreeing, you know, he kind of laughed at Rolo as well. But this one actually kind of felt like he's laughing at her, <laughs> like in her face. You know, so he does say that after Ragnar passes, a woman is going to rule. So I'm going to just guess that it's going to be um, a Lagatha. And the seer's pretty good at this, so it's probably going to end up happening. 
Um, but I, I don't think it's going to be Aslog. I think it's going to be Lagatha. So I noticed this episode, they were uh, starting to put more focus on uh, his boys uh, and even Bjorn. So Uber, uh, Sigurd, uh, Iva, the Boneless, and the fourth one. Um, sorry, I forgot at this moment. Yeah, I'm going to see them develop just like Bjorn. Remember Bjorn was a little kid in season one. Season two, he's a big ass, like grown ass man. I'm really excited to see how these four kids, uh, Ragnar's sons, you know, grow up. Um, really excited to see Ivar the Boneless, you know. You know, I felt like in that beginning scene, you know, how Floki comes into the bedroom and has those things he carved out. I felt like he, like, legitimately wanted uh, Ragnar to feel better. He kind of regrets doing that later, you know, as he's in chains in the middle of the town. His eldest, uh, Bjorn, Ironside. Um, yeah, man, so... First of all, again, I'm a little bit disappointed in his uh, reaction to his daughter, Siggy. You know, he doesn't even, like, hold her. He... Uh, like his, the look on his face, he kind of looks away. You know, Aslog's like, yeah, we'll take care of her. And like, she seemed pretty annoyed as well. So yeah, man, Bjorn uh, still has much to learn. He's up there on that cliff, on that rock. And he's been the hype man and he's delivering this uh, epic speech. You know, who is your king? Who do you owe your allegiance to? So it was really, it was really cool to see that because, you know, Ragnar's not here at the moment. You know, he's still getting better. So in his place, his eldest, you know, Bjorn Ironside is out there. But then he makes a bold... A really bold move, man. He has Floki arrested for, for the murder of Athelstan. A uh, really bold move, man. Um, and a risky and a tricky move. Um, one that did not really pay off because Ragnar was not happy about this, right? He's like, now you, like, because of you, it's public and I have to deal with this. Um, and if I wanted him arrested, I would have done it, right? You know, so in Bjorn's head, he was doing the right thing, but it kind of backfired. You know, the common folk. They're kind of similar to Floki in, in the manner that, you know, they, they're so loyal to the gods. So, like, arresting Floki for standing up for their gods and killing a Christian, you know, that... I felt like that could really backfire, no? Because, like, how are they going to see this? They are uh, loyal to the gods and, um, you know, to them it's like, oh, so this guy killed a Christian um, and he's loyal to our gods, yet they've arrested him. Uh, just because he killed the king's friend. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but you know, I thought maybe that could be one of the problems. And you know, it was tough to see Floki chained up and having like, it looked like shit thrown at him. Um, yeah, he, he, you know, he's fucked up, but uh, he felt that he's doing the right thing and it was still kind of tough to see him in that position because Floki has been one of my favorites from the beginning. So it was tough to see him in that position, man. And you know, as uh, Bjorn came up to him, he's like, to shame me like this just for defending the gods and then he kind of spits and at the dinner uh Ragnar kind of tells him who, you know whose stupid idea was it to leave Rolo behind and you know Bjorn kind of gets angry again he's like he's my uncle and you know again Ragnar knew like right off that it's a really like stupid move to leave Rolo back there because he knows Rolo and indeed it was uh Bjorn that kind of okayed it right uh back in uh Paris so yeah it, yeah things kind of took a turn for Bjorn and because of that, he decided that he, he wants to leave, you know, um, not permanently, but to go out there and prove himself, you know, on his own. And again, Ragnar straight up told him, I think you're making a foolish uh, move again, uh, or foolish mistake. Um, and then he asked him again, why are you really going? And basically, Bjorn said, because you don't think I can survive. So, you know, now it's become more of like, I'm going to prove you wrong. And even Ragnar was like, all right, prove me wrong. So it seems like I'll get to see Bjorn on his own for a good chunk of the season, maybe just off on his own, you know, doing his own thing. He's got that map he's kind of infatuated with. Let's talk about Lagatha and Kelf, you know, him and Lagatha. Uh, of course, Aina was not happy about this. Um, Now, you know, at that point, he kind of got some of my respect because he straight up, you know, in front of everyone, he told, okay, Lagatha saved my life as well. So I decided that both of us are going to be equals and, you know, um, share this earldom. He got some of my respect, but I don't completely trust him just yet, man. So I, I do find it a little bit strange that Lagatha can trust him so easily. But his next move got even more respect from me. He kind of rounded up all the people that were against this, uh, including Aina, and he butchered them and he took them out. And that impressed Lagatha even more. You could see she had tears in her eyes. So the you know, connection keeps getting stronger, man. Kelf and Lagatha. It was a badass move. You know, I said it was a badass move. Uh, respect to Kelf for that, but I still don't completely trust him, man. And, you know, this episode was really clear that Aslog, you know, um, season two is uh, Ragnar that's like tapped out. He's like, he's done. You can tell he doesn't care about Aslog anymore. Now, this season in episode one, you could tell that Aslog is also, you know, gone. She's like, done. She had other ideas. I think she was hoping that Ragnar kind of dies in there and doesn't, you know, uh, get better. 
so she can rule. And you know, this goes back to her asking the seer if she's ever gonna rule. Funny scene, man. Really prolonged funny scene of him getting married and Gisela's like super upset and she's crying and like Charles had to like force her head down. Um, And then later it got even funnier because, you know, at this point everyone's in the room. He's like, enough of this shit, get out. And you could tell he's learned uh, some more French at this point. And as he's trying to tell her, oh, uh, you're my wife. And like, she's like, stay back. Don't touch me. Don't come near me. And like, you know, her facial expressions and like the whole scene was so comical. You know, I loved it. You know, it was fantastic. And you could tell Rolo took a different approach. I feel like the old Rolo would have definitely had her there, like on the bed. Like he would not care if she's crying or she doesn't want this. He would have had her. But now he's gone for a different like approach. He's like, okay, she's she doesn't want to do it now. So I'm just going to go to sleep, man. You know, that is a princess and he needs friends. You know, he wants to make friends here. So uh, he decides not to push any further. And I do feel like he'll like that uh, Gisela has a bit of a fire to her. No, not a bit of a fire. She has fire to her. And I, and I also feel like Gisela is going to uh, end up liking Rolo as well. Especially after, you know, the big, big move he made. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed it, please smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments. Let me know what you guys thought. If you're on social media, uh, hit me up. I have a Twitter account, uh, Instagram. I'm on Patreon. Thank you so much to all my amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for your kindness. I really appreciate it. Alright guys, thanks for dropping by. I'll be uh, doing episode 2 really soon. Uh, but yeah man, take it easy.